Hey, hey, welcome to another video. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of uh, issue one of a comic book called Ghost Island. It is from a uh, British indie publisher, Afterlight Comics, and they were kind enough to send me issue number one for me to have a look at. It is created by Joseph Oliveira and artist drawn by Annabella Tullioni, if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, and lettered by Justin Birch. It's uh, a horror noir-esque sort of book. Really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm not going to talk too much about the, the plot, but I instantly read it, and it's one of those books I can sort of see them making like, like a TV show out of it or something. It was very sort of episodic. Good with its uh, pace of telling a story. I mean, this is only issue number one. It was very dark, very modern. Um, and we've got this main character called uh, Joshua Evans, who is um, a psychic who communicates with the dead. And he's sort of given various assignments. Uh, the great thing about this first issue is that although we're introduced to uh, Josh, we don't know a whole lot about him, but the writer sort of, uh, drip feed us like bits of information and uh, it makes you want to know a little bit more with this character he does have um, something going on some sort of darkness some sort of personal dilemma uh, it seems to be relating to his wife so I, 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 th I think his wife is dead it's implied um, but he has a strong connection to uh, the spirit world, so I don't know if it's perhaps something that he's done. I'm sure the writers are probably going to explain what is going on with this character as the issues go along. This first issue, um, it doesn't really show too much, but it does show him going to an island with a group of people. Um, a couple of them are journalists and such. There's a priest on the island as well, but they meet with a man uh, called Mr. Deacons, who has invited them to this island for a very specific reason. Uh, he's paying Josh Evans a lot of money that Josh has to communicate with these spirits whilst they're on the island and find out a little bit more about them. And that's it. And it ends on such, I wouldn't say a cliffhanger, but it's a very inconclusive ending like every book is supposed to do it left me wanting more it finished and i was like right issue two let's get it it is available to order if you go to afterlightcomics.com they have um hard copies of the book which are i think issue one is six pound and or you can get a digital copy for three pound personally i like to have an actual book i'm not keen on this uh digital comic book thing personally um but i like to have an actual book but definitely go and have a look uh, it was actually quite nice to break away from the mainstream of like marvel and dc as much as i love those books it was nice to read something different something original um a lot of work has gone into um ghost island you can see it on the pages uh it's all black and white which is nice. It's uh, obviously it suits the tone and it resonates really well. If somebody handed me that book and I didn't know who wrote it, who the artist was, and I had to pluck names up the sky, I would say Frank Miller, uh, Alan Moore, Jim Lee. I wouldn't have guessed that it comes from a British um, sort of indie publisher in that sense, because that's a sort of um, tone of the artwork really and it is a really good book so i'm going to be dropping links in the description to afterlightcomics.com add these guys on uh, instagram as well they've got some great uh, some great images uh, of future issues i'm looking forward to reading more of this book because I, I really really enjoyed it and i'm the kind of person i don't really enjoy horrors in general like films and stuff like that um but this book it's it's classed as a horror, and by rights it is a horror. But there was nothing that made me sort of 
freak out and have a fright as such. It was just more dark, uh, especially the beginning of the book. Um, but it was uh, it was a very good read, and I highly recommend it. That is Ghost Island, issue number one, The Invitation. Fantastic artwork, great story, great pace of story, um, good character development. I, w I want to know what's going to happen with uh, with Josh Evans. There's other characters in the book as well, which have sort of come into it. But it's it's a book that I, I genuinely enjoyed, and uh, I happily read that one again. And as I say, it's nice to break away from the superheroes and um, uh, the sci-fi sort of elements, and to go for something that's original, different, and interesting. Ghost Island, issue number one, order online, afterlightcomics.com. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.